So you're probably sitting there wondering who is Crystal, who is Leslie, who are all these people? And to be completely honest, if you aren't tuning in to Music Biz Marty, you probably don't have a very big idea of who these people are, who these characters are on the internet. I'm describing Crystal as a motherly horror cow throughout this video because she is a complete manipulative psychopath who is just tormenting her fiance boyfriend Leslie throughout every single stream that ever exists. They don't have a very large audience out there. They don't really have anybody outside of Marty talking about them, but there are plenty of odd instances that go on throughout their lives, and I thought I would focus on some of the most important ones that I picked up on on watching roughly an hour and a half of clips of them. So sit back, relax, enjoy this absolute train wreck of Leslie and Crystal. So to start off with, you're probably wondering, why does Crystal sound like an alien with peanut butter stuck at the top of her mouth? Why does Leslie act like Skinny Pete from Breaking Bad? Who are all these surrounding characters that exist inside their lives? And I feel like the easiest way I can sum up the content of Crystal and Leslie is trying to understand a foreign speaker talking to you, giving you directions to how to defuse a bomb. Every time I sit here, I feel like half the words that they're speaking fly over my head and I just don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I am perplexed, all right? So trying to get a through line throughout this entire story is quite difficult. But we do find out pretty early on that maybe, just maybe, Crystal might be possessed by demons. That's all I have. I only got three of them. I'm poor right now. Do you get that? You don't care. That's like a bitch. I'm poor too. I don't like fucking cigarettes. Right? She uh she makes some very odd faces every once in a while. She's very protective of her image and of her food. Those are the two things that she must protect at all cost and if she can't if she's not in control of the situation her inner reptilian evil mastermind starts to slip out of its skin and you know i i kind of understand why leslie is so afraid of escaping her now to the voice point we find out that basically <laughs> We, we got some narcotic situations going on up in here, right? But thank you, Marty. Uh, thank uh, you, uh, Chance, uh, for making me bar around the world uh, for Marty, my YouTube. Marty's the one made all our videos go sky high. Both of them have a very odd-sounding vocal inflection, and Leslie in particular is odd, and we find out it's because she has dentures. Her and Elizabeth Blade are hanging out, pounding that Jaeger nonstop, and that's why she sounds like the way she does. Damn phlegm in my throat and the teeth. That's why I sound the way I do. I hate it. It drives me nuts. And because of these, that's why I sound the way I do. <coughs> she can't control it. She's constantly gurgling and gargling and saying nervous. And it's like, what the fuck is she even talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't, uh, I didn't buy that much food for the freezer. No, you didn't. <laughs> I do that because of my allergies, my my <laughs> like Brad would. My it's really difficult to understand. But what we can understand is maybe, maybe she can't control her voice. But the demons can control everything else in her life. And we'll find out very quickly that she is one of the worst partners I've ever witnessed on YouTube or any social media platform. She's constantly manipulating Leslie. He's not a great person, no doubt, but she's constantly just taking out all of her anger on him, trying to pick fights with him. She has a cat and has had cats in the past that she's been absolutely horrible to. And of course, as I mentioned, you know, the narcotic situation definitely is going to return. They can't escape it. And that's always a falling out point between the two.
You can tell pretty early on that these two have a pretty rocky relationship. It kind of feels like Coyote Arm where Leslie really wants to bite his arm off and escape, but he's too afraid of the wrath that Crystal might present to really follow through with it. And we see that pretty early on with him talking about how, well, you believe all the trolls online all the time, so I'm just gonna leave, I'm gonna get out of here. And of course, Crystal can't help but guilt trip him and say, what, you're just gonna leave me to die? All these people are gonna come and just massacre me, blow up the hotel that we're staying in? You can't be doing that to me, Leslie. Trying to watch a goddamn show and I never can because you won't let me. You take it right out of my hand. They already, they're never gonna get you. They're never gonna get me. They, they already got me. They me. don't get you, but they get me. They told me. Yeah, that's what they want me and you. They want me and you. They room? want me and you to break up. That's what's gonna happen. I'm going home. We're we'll never see you. No, home. you're not. That's what they want. I'll they got tell their Jonathan wish. what's going on. They got their wish come true, and now they got it. You're I'm, not I'm going. going my no, you're not. You're not leaving me here so someone will but hurt they got me. My, they got their wish because you're agreeing with them because you're on their side. No, I'm not. I'm faking it. He, he, he starts to think about it, he's like, hmm, you know, maybe I need to change my ways. Maybe this lifestyle just truly isn't for me, and maybe I just have to be more committed. So he decides to propose to her, and it goes about as well as you might expect. For somebody that isn't all that appealing herself, she really just doesn't boost up the ego and... <laughs> the validation that Leslie so desperately seeks to achieve. This is for my birthday. Leslie got this, um, the old ring of the paddock for me to wear. Will you marry me? Yes, I will marry you. Love you. Happy birthday. Oh, get some water in your legs. Okay, happy birthday. Thank you. I got lipstick on everybody. <laughs> I don't know why I keep on with this weird mm. lipstick. <laughs> <coughs> it even gets so bad that when Leslie is being accused of doing something, some Tom sucking foolery going on, Leslie will get humiliated by his partner at any chance she possibly can. She's constantly live streaming, she's constantly on camera, all of her worst habits get exposed to the internet why you guys do this why you're don't, don't my that's my pecker in your crystal why you guys don't, my, don't do that you're on youtube a lot there's a dough you know what i can't hide that mice i don't know how to do that you know that maybe you, you do i don't know i don't know you're hurt me don't you hurt me oh you cannot hurt fuck you don't yell like that and her searching his pockets and and shoving fingers up his ding dong in order to see if he's got any methamphetamines on him is definitely an interesting tactic and you know leslie thought hmm maybe i should pay her back you know i i, I should try and be the loving caring partner that i've committed to be and i'm gonna i'm gonna wash her clothes so he decides to take all of her clothes <laughs> <laughs> fill up a bathtub and just dump them in there and now she's pissed because she thinks her clothes are soiled and she's gonna get her grandpa who's a, a side character that we'll get to later in the video to show up and come and rescue her save her from Leslie and her rotten clothes that she just can't wear anymore you're gonna make my clothes go bad you damn. know what he did everybody put all my clothes in the damn bathtub and washed them by hand. They're gonna go bad. I thought Grip was coming to get me. You gotta call him on your phone. No, you do it now. Now, when Leslie is trying to help Crystal, it never goes right. And we kind of understand that, right? We, we, we get it. You know, sometimes maybe your efforts aren't fully appreciated. Maybe you just don't do them 100% correctly. So maybe you'll just do your own thing. You'll stick to your own interest. And for Leslie, he's really into WWE. They are from Portland, Michigan. So I think they're into Juggalos. I've seen Juggalos in the background every once in a while. So maybe he just wants to kick back, relax, watch a couple videos. Uh-uh-uh. Crystal's not going to let that slide. Because if for some reason inside of Crystal's brain, she thinks that wrestling is like by the devil and it's some sort of... I don't know, homoerotic 
display a masculinity or something and she can't be having that no siree ma'am and he's just trying to sit there and relax and just can't have that happen no more leslie hello hello babe just take the headphones you off like you have it in your video you can't have wwe wrestling you can't I know that you can't hear it. And how can you hear what I'm saying, you lunatic? You told me to leave you alone in, in, in this well, room. Listen home. now. Yes, talk. Just don't watch it right now. Do it late. I'm, I'm watching it. I'll leave you alone. If Leslie can't help her out with, with chores around their hotel room and he can't watch the things that he wants to do, he can't go smoke crack downstairs. I mean, he, he's running out of options here. Well, why don't we try and have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna bring us together, right? Oh yeah, a couple of bites and you ain't post that yourself. So? Oh, you got a whole if I'm you. pregnant, you have to eat a lot. You don't know if I'm pregnant because oh. you won't let me go. I, I hope you're not. Let you guys don't let me go to the hospital if I'm sick. Yeah, well. My throat hurt, my breasts hurt. You don't let me go never. You he know, controls I, me too much. No, I just we never had a chance to sit down. Be down that cold you just go outside so look for a cigarette so I can do this by myself. Well, we don't really know because Crystal will flaunt the idea of having a child every once in a while in front of his face, and it's mostly centered around her ego, it's centered around her wanting more food, and whenever he'll say, Hey, you know, I really wanted to eat some grapes, hey, I wanted some of that food, she'll say well, I might be eating for two now, so shut the fuck up, Leslie. <laughs> my man, my man's starving out here. He can't even eat anymore. And, you know, at the end of the day, we all just want to try and understand the psychosis behind it, right? Like, what, what's going on inside of Crystal's brain that makes her just want to latch on to Leslie and just take control and dominate him? Well, I think it might turn out to be... <laughs> not getting enough sleep before she has to go to work. That's why she has to take it out on him. Hey Amanda, Leslie would not let me sleep. And I've worked, I have to start work at 10 a.m. in the morning. He's so mean to me. That's why he, I abuse him because he don't let me sleep. He wants me to be dead in my sleep. He wants me dead. Help me, Amanda, please. I'm a good woman like you. And he calls me a slut. I'm not no slut. I don't cheat. He does cheat. I know he's cheating on me. Now, as I mentioned previously, they do have a cat. His name's Garfield. He's an orange cat. She's had some cats in the past. And both of them kind of display uh, the reason why we should be calling animal control on whatever red roof in they're sticking in tonight. Because they're constantly talking about how well, you know, sometimes you just gotta choke a cat out, you just gotta fucking uppercut that bitch. Because, I don't know, they, they scratched her. She was saying that she's being bleeding to death. I'm bleeding to death. I'm to death to bleed. All the blood is just being poured out from, I don't know, a, a very small incision of cat's teeth. Probably because you're fucking pestering it. You know, they're, they're kind of solitary animals. They don't like to be confined into a fucking Red Roof Inn hotel room. But don't try and explain that to either one of them. Instead, they're going to showcase to the audience. Hey, everybody, look. Look and see what we can do. We're going to show you <laughs> just exactly how we punish our cat for the whole world to see. I don't punch Garfield. I like, he's like a man. choke a cat. Only thing I did is gave him a little nudge to save him from running out that door and getting hit by a car. How okay, you, well, you know what I did once? I choked Tinkerbell, the gray cat, because she uh, she clawed me to death really bad and made me bleed to yeah. death. That's what I did. But I only did that one time. I bite, okay, Aaron, the one that died years yeah. ago, my black cat, like from Pocus Pocus, Zachary Binks, my black cat named Aaron Binks. He died because he was old, but... I bite his mom, Katie's. I don't. Everyone, you would punch a cat. They bit no, you. No, you... like you never punch them like, the, like, a, like a human being. No, but a little cat. She goes like cat. this to him, like that. Punch him right now. See, that's what she does. Like that, people. That's not hurting him. I went like, like this. Yeah. yeah. I went like that. Yeah. That's all I yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Now we finally reached the magnum opus of where their biggest disputes really come from. Now, in the past, Leslie might have uh, been a little bit too interested into Adderall and doing some methamphetamines. I mean, we've all been there before. We've gone through a party phase before, you know, staying up all night to party all day or whatever. I don't know what the saying is. The problem with me is on that Adderall on meth is making me go crazy. 
crazy. No sleep for him. I try to get help, but we keep him back on it. Well, good night, Brian. And you put me in some meeting. It's not hard, but then get off it. I will. I'll start doing it. Or you're going to be dead if you don't go off it. But Leslie just can't catch a break here. His, his loving fiance just slam dunks on him and says, I'd like a man who has all of his teeth. Yeah, I like those pearly whites, baby. Disregard the fact that my teeth are completely missing and my voice is all fucked up because of it. I got peanut butter stuck at the top of my mouth. Ignore all of that, all right? I expect better out of my men. What the fuck, Crystal Barbie Station? No, don't ever say that. I'll hit you in the head hit with my me. phone. Hit me. I don't care anymore because they're bullying me. This is not nice of you. You know I'm not a fucking drunkie. Look at your tooth. I like men with teeth. Yes, but you know how that happened from a court life from your goddamn shit? I know, but I, I like ate. my men with all good teeth. You don't have to worry about me no more. You think I'm a drama drug guy? Just go home. You let some people That's Leslie's best friend. Yes, you are. And even when he is certain, I've just been scrounging up bottle caps downstairs. I've just been picking up buds of cigarettes gross fucking ricky from trailer park boys disgusting hey ricky find any good ones what yeah like, like you guys never smoked a butt eh oh look at ricky smoking cigarette butts i'm sick of this shit i'm sick of your tv show and i'm sick of you and i'm sick of everybody moving to toronto she just she can't believe him and he just wants to be a good boy he just wants to be a good boy. All, he, all he's ever wanted to do is prove that he's an okay person and that he's not truly a druggie. He can reform his life. Why won't you guys believe him? All right? <laughs> Leslie, you can change this around. He says he always oh, don't do drugs anymore. I don't believe what he says. <clears throat> I'm in danger. Let me in there. What are you doing? Oh, no, no. They said that you're doing no, drugs. I wasn't. I was being a good boy. Let me see what's in your pockets now. Anything no, there. Why do they say, but. See, they, they, here, go ahead. They, you know I don't do drugs. Go ahead. They're not that. I'm smoking cigarette pods. Well, they are. They're liars because they're scared. I don't people. like drugs. Okay, you know I'm out of drugs. I'm on the couch don't, now. You know, I, you know I changed. Don't. I'm a better don't person. Know what's going on? You're scared. Then why are you believing them for because why? Because it's not saying it's Leslie outside doing drugs. Then you told me to go outside and find a couple of cigarette pods. Where did you go at? No, no, they won't. All I did, all I did, went, all I did, went all the way down here to the cigarette box. That's all I did, and talked to the guy at the main I office. I swear on my YouTube live, people are gonna do Okay, something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then tell them, quit teasing me, please. I'm not a drunkie. Never been. And now it's starting to reach the point of, how how do we end up like this, right? Yeah, sure. There's there's situations of uh, mistrust and and drug usage and. That can obviously put a strain into a relationship. But why is Leslie always so afraid of Crystal? Why won't he just leave? Well, it might have something to do with her out of control egomaniac lifestyle. Now, for someone built like a Goron from Zelda, you would think that there would be a little bit more humility built into Crystal's lifestyle, but no, no, that's that's never going to happen. She's claimed that she is so much smarter than everyone in the past, including her own mother. She thinks she's flexing that on the haters, like, uh, yeah, look at my fucking flab. That's most definitely what is up, YouTube. Since I was born, I'm like my mom, Carla Marie, but I'm smarter. I like being like other people because it makes me look better as myself. You think I'm dumb? Well, I'm going to prove you wrong by saying some of the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire life while talking about a long draw like a fucking man working at a gas station in the 1920s in the South. And, you know, uh, it, it happens. Sometimes I think I'm smarter than other people. Maybe I'm not being fully honest to myself, but hey, we all have our own drawbacks, right? Well, at least I can say <laughs> I'm not constantly praying to God that bad things just constantly happen on others. <laughs> that works, right? You know when I pray bad things happen? You didn't know that? For the bad people that would have bullied me and you? Yeah. And Crystal kind of doesn't follow that same philosophy that I might believe. But at the end of the day, 
She's truly just a good person. Why won't you just believe her? A good friend of mine, you will never let anyone hurt me to let you all know. Leslie's mean to me. I'm a good person. Tony, I'm Tony Master would tell Leslie. <laughs> Tony, please help me. I'm at the Red Roof Inn right now. Leslie's being mean to me. You know, maybe it has something to do with the fact that she's said some inexplicably racist things multiple times on her live streams. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe we can ignore that. Maybe we'll start with the idea that, hmm, her and her and Leslie are such a good pair because they're white. <laughs> you're a whore and you're ugly. And Lisa, I'm white. My skin's white. Haha, ha. your your skin's black and white. Mine's not. Ha! And Leslie's skin is white too. Look, our skin's white. Oh. I thought we're perfect for each other because we're both white. Forget all the other shit, you know. I thought it might have been the fact that you're both addicts, and maybe it's the fact that uh I don't know. You're you're losing your teeth and you have something in common there, you both don't believe each other. I don't know, there's plenty of other options. Why does it have to be the fact that you're white? But, don't worry guys. I know you're concerned. But Crystal, she's going to come back and save us. Because she's going to walk around downtown Detroit. Because every once in a while, they go on a trip to some city. Detroit was one of them. And shouting, Black Lives Matter. All Black Lives Matter. Hooking them up to the to the drugged out random people wandering down the street. Oh, Miss Daddy in Westbrook. Hey sir, you need some yeah, Sir. Yeah, you need some coffee? All life all hey. black lives matter. Okay. Right. <laughs> Try it now and I'm weird. All life all black lives matter. That's most definitely was up, but I feel like she felt most at home with these people. She felt like, you know, I, I can fully relate to them. Me and them, we're not too different. You want to know who else I'm not too different to? Paris Hilton. That's right. You know, I guess she falls in that Gen X timeline, right, where the millennials kind of related to people like this. You know, Jersey Shore, Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan. People like that, Amanda Bynes, I mean, there's people like that out there that uh, maybe my uh, slightly younger generation might not fully get, but I see the comparison. I give the greats, I give that 10 out of 10 living stars like Paris Hilton, I want to be queen with the same. And no, Heather Brooks is not white like me and Paris Hilton, our skin's white. Mm -hmm. Now get it, her skin's mixed, like my grandma's is mixed. I mean, what's what's to miss? Uh, a rich girl that benefited off of the millions of dollars that her successful father had versus lady who lives in Red Roof Inns all the time. Now, maybe if she was staying inside of Hilton Hotels, I could be like, eh, maybe, maybe. But we're not seeing that lifestyle. It, it's, it's very unfortunate. Very sad. But what well, we do get to see a commonality between... Leslie and Crystal is the fact that they're both utterly gross, right? While she was spending this time in downtown Detroit, she stumbled across a nice pair of soggy underwear laying on the ground. And you want to know what she did? She picks them up with her bare hands and hands them off to Leslie and says, keep these, we can wash them and you can use them. Leslie, here. <laughs> There you go, someone lost here. Look! Leslie here! <laughs> Leslie, put this in the back! Leslie, wait for me now! You need to wait now! What? I bet you put this in the back now, please. They're brand new. They're fine, something to wear, right? They're like expensive ones, aren't they? What the fuck, dude? I didn't think we were going to reach these levels of depravity. But it only gets so much worse because at a Halloween <laughs> party with their friends and family, we get to see diaper dancing. 
with leslie isn't that cute she uh wears adult diapers i guess why i don't really know but maybe she's just trying to make sure she keeps that shit stuffed in all right we ain't having any leakage going on out here we're most definitely keeping that shit all inside and it's really gross to think about another gross thing to think about leslie's not completely void of criticism here right he's he's a he's a druggie he's not trustworthy but he's kind of comes off at the victim so far right well at the same party he decides to go and slap his mom on the ass while they're dancing to a song <laughs> So, I, I don't know what's going on in Portland, Michigan, right? I'm, I'm not fully versed. I'm not fully in tune with the vibe going on there. But uh, I could never imagine in a million years that I'd ever do that for myself. That, uh, that kind of tastes like something yucky in my mouth. And when we're thinking of yucky things in our mouth, let's go back to Leslie trying to prove that he wasn't on drugs. You want to know how he's going to try and prove that? Well, he had an open wound in his ass. And Crystal notices. And he's like, hey, you know, if you taste the blood from my asshole, then you'll be able to tell if I'm on drugs or not. Put it in your mouth and taste it. Here, taste it. Put it in your mouth. I'm not tasting That's the only way you can know it. Because you can't smell it. You can taste it in your mouth. No, I cannot. Yes, you can. Here. Try it. Here. It's, it's clean. I clean my thing all the time. You know I'm not like that. See? It's clean. See? That's all I do. Like, start pumping me and you make me and you fight them. Go ahead. Down. Don't do it. Here, go ahead. Stop bleeding. See, I, I don't know how to See, do there's it. no blood on your butt. I don't, not gay. I don't know how to hide stuff like that. I've never been taught. That's a real fucking scenario that they were going through. But, you know, I think Crystal takes the appropriate approach and just says, Nah, I trust you. It's all good. We'll just we'll just move past it. Alright? We'll just we'll just move past it. It's no big deal. It's no problem. And at the same time, we in this hotel room, if you couldn't tell, this one particular stream has a lot of fucking hits. A lot of classics that you will notice in the Crystal and Leslie story. And one of them is, they get their new room, they found this bottle of body armor inside of it. It doesn't seem like it was sealed, and for whatever reason, Crystal thinks, you know what, I'm gonna drink that shit. I'm gonna drink that shit. We're gonna do a drink test right here for you and all. I said after we're moved in our place, I'll go to work somehow, somewhere. And I found this outside of our, our hotel room. Someone left it in their room. Strawberry caffeine boost edge body armor. Strawberry hydration caffeine. You two, how gonna do that? We will, because I'm fast. I give that 7 out of 8 tags, it tastes weird. And it's most likely some dude's piss. Probably only used me Blade got way too fucking hammered the night before and just had the piss in the bottle. And that's what we're stuck with. So, just gross all around. But, as I mentioned pretty early on, they're not alone in this universe. Music Biz Marty is going to come sniffing around. And he's going to get what he wants. Now, I'm not well versed in all the lore surrounding Music Biz Marty. Obviously, I know him from the Cyrax verse. I've seen him talk about a couple other people. I even witnessed him talking about these two very briefly early on. And I had been slightly aware of Crystal and Leslie for probably at least a year, but just never could really comprehend, get my head around what the fuck I was witnessing. Luckily, Music Biz Marty's on the scene, and he takes a similar stance of, man, it really seems like Leslie 
definitely doesn't want to hang out there. He doesn't want to be associated with Crystal anymore. He needs to escape. Well, Marty's going to hook him up. He's going to send him some food. Wapateer. Yeah, thank you. Earlier, Wapateer, you're, you're facing the car. What happened? Oh. Wap, there's something on your forehead. Right yeah, from the I'm car. Going off, yeah. An accident? I what were you doing? No. No. What's that? Make her up and say thank you. Say thank you, Grandpa. Thank you. Yep. Oh. Thank you, uh, Music Biz Marty, Nicholas. Thank you so much for giving food to my anchor, Grandpa James, and my baby, sexy baby Leslie. And, you know, he's just hoping to get repaid by him. He's just hoping that maybe they can have a boys' night out together. Maybe he can live stream and they can hang out together. But that's not going to happen because Crystal needs the spotlight and Leslie is a scamming piece of shit who is completely unreliable. These people, it seems like they scammed me. It really seems like they scammed me here. Fucking not. Let's eat first before you search my pocket. I don't have nothing in my pocket. Well, I'm so lucky. Too bad. I'm you look. About 50 cent only in my fucking pocket. And my fucking punky cigarettes. Oh, I so he had, a, he had a pack of cigarettes. Wow. Like, that makes it even worse. It's not like he was even out of cigarettes and desperate. He was just planning ahead for his next con. Jesus, Leslie. Like, what? Damn, man. I'm starting to have, like, no sympathy for you whatsoever. Lying to us. You said you're going live. That was three hours ago. I told ago. you I will. I told you I will go live. I didn't charge my phone and stuff like that, and I had to help my family, okay? I told you I'll go live. But if I go live and none of this don't stop, I will go to the police, and I will give them every information I have on my phone. And believe that I will make it stop. I will promise you on my dead living body, I will make it stop. I even remember got the videos on my phone to prove you. Somebody put Crystal on the porn site, too. I got that. Believe that, too. I will make it happen. I will make it happen. If you try to make my life a living in hell, I told you guys, you stop the scrappers, I will have that boys night. You guys screwed me, I screwed you back. You fucked over me, I fucked over you. What's fair, what's square? Now, this kind of puts Marnie into a tizzy a bit. You know, he's not a huge fan of Crystal, understandably so based on everything that we've seen, but even if it was just her bullying her fiance around, doing some gross shit, maybe you'd be able to push through it, fight through it. I mean, there's there's people like Chance Wilkins out there who are just doing grotesque things nonstop. Well, guess what? Marty uncovers the fact that there was a police report that came out because Crystal was abusing her child. That's you, Crystal. You were too thoughtless and too selfish to care for your own child. You're nothing like Paris Hilton. Keith would feed his own child. Keith would not allow baby to starve. That's you, Crystal. That's you. You're not a good person. You're a piece of shit. You're not a star. Lusty is the star. Yeah, it doesn't mention Leslie anywhere in the documents, but it says that when they showed up, the child's face was purple because I guess was struggling to eat or something and she couldn't really figure out how to feed the child properly and he was choking and he was struggling there. And that's weird. For somebody that claims to be so loving and caring all the time, and she's just being taken advantage of by Leslie nonstop, why would she take this out on her kid? That's not a very good look. Well, ever since then, it hasn't been a very good relationship between Crystal and Marty. Yeah, I'm telling the truth, Marty. He's, he's, you're a true liar, so fuck you, Marty, Miss Biz. You're gonna die if you keep doing my Adderall and Thalcal. It's gonna kill you. And someone already is gonna kill you. And I'm not saying who. Somebody. You know who, right, Leslie? No. <laughs> and I pray to God that you die, Martin Music Biz, the Trome, Nicholas Dingler from Chicago. She has even reached the point of wishing death on Marty and saying that there's a hitman out there to come after music biz marty i'm i'm certain that's a hundred percent true obviously nicholas Bigler from chicago you know that's that's most definitely what is up but one of the stipulations that leslie was always upset about with marty 
for him to live stream and hang out and whatever. At their grandpa's house, they have some shit in their front yard that I guess scrappers keep showing up and taking, right? They had to put a padlock on the fence so that nobody came and stole anything anymore. Well, they kind of believe that whether it's Marty or other trolls, that there are people constantly coming out to harass them wherever they are. And while they're at one of their red roof inns, somebody keeps showing up. Someone's here. No, look out the window. Call the cops. And leave us alone. Call the cops. Good people. Amen. Leave us alone. Amen. They're going to hurt us now. Make the cop come back. They came back. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold, hold, hold your Help hold me. The door. Go hold the door. away now, please. We're good people. Help. Help. Someone's at our door. door. Come back to the red oh, roof in. Put your weight on the door. Put the weight no, on the door. Do Just for fatter. Pounding on the door, trying to get in. But don't worry. Leslie's on the case. He's going to throw <laughs> Crystal against the door because she's fatter. She can barricade the door herself. He needs to go jump and hide, you know, smoke a couple crystals so he gets his strength back. But in the meanwhile, as I mentioned, the scrappers harassing Grandpapa's house? That's just not right, man. Stealing his stuff? Well, when Marty sends the food to Leslie, guess what? Good old pal grandpa's in there being forced to say thank you for the food. And Leslie's just not comfortable. He feels like it's way too hot in the car or way too cold in the car. And he needs to get some heat up in here. Here, I want to show him here. Here, here guys. Uh, here's the fries. Give me a fry. She'll just... Okay. Give me a fry before here, they here. Warm. Uh, here. Here. Here, I got it here. You can't get the sink at all. But, my pot. I eat. But wait a minute, it's warm on my feet up. My feet was ice cold. Well, what do you I give the chicken it. sandwich? I give it a 10 out of 10. Don't give everything 10 out of 10. Oh, YouTube right I now. Eat up, please. Oh, wait a minute, let my feet warm up. Don't warm me up. It's hot, boy. If you don't shut that little fucker up, when I kill you. I will. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It's hot. Well, Grandpa doesn't like it. He needs his french fries and he needs to stay cold because you're cooking him alive. He can't take this shit no more. And I guess I kind of see where the temper comes from in this family because on a beautiful Christmas season, we get to see Leslie and Crystal being absolute animals destroying presents inside of their grandpa's house. Your grandpa from Santa. You want to take it to him? Who got it from you, Dad? Yeah. You don't have to be that way that somebody's picking a tumor up by your fatty boy. Oh, the presents that people buy you for gifts and everything. This woman really does care for you. What keep buying you? Not a fucking thing. Yeah, never. Why you forget the man was When he was younger. And they go to give him a present. And Leslie absolutely freaks out on him. Goes absolutely ape shit. It's insane. And, you know, while this is all going down, you got Crystal sitting in the background talking about the Grinch. The Grinch is sitting there hanging out while Leslie and Grandpa go at it. Mr. Grinch over there in the chair. I didn't you, I didn't slap you. All I would just speak is please speak. Non-stop bullying each other. That's most definitely what is up. And I've mentioned him, and I think it's a great point to end on with this video. Cyrax appears. You thought he would just disappear? No, no, no. Every once in a while during one of their live streams, he'll show up and Leslie or Crystal or both of them will be there. Well, Cyrax gets absolutely owned by this couple. Look who it is. Marty, leave people alone, Marty. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, motherfucker. What do you mean? Crystal, yeah. shut the fuck up. This doesn't concern you. So shut up. You piece of shit. I'm his own dick. Amen. Amen. Take it off, Leslie. Take it off. Take it off, Leslie. I don't know.
Oh, yeah. You can't show, you can't show the penises on here. No penises. Not. Somehow. Marnie is laughing maniacally in the background, but then Leslie shows off Cyrix's cock on stream, makes the goblin disappear. I guess that's the natural repellent. He can't be faced with the consequences of his actions. But at the end of the day, I think we've stumbled upon an interesting nest of people here, right? There's, there's never a shortage of the characters you might experience on YouTube or TikTok or Twitter or Reddit or wherever else you're gonna find somebody. We just kinda hope that we can all just get, get along together. We don't need you to be constantly harassed by Music Biz Marty or as you call him, Marty Biz Music. And I don't know, maybe take better care of your spouse and of your children and of your elders and of your friends and of your viewers and of the cops you call non-stop because you're methed out all the time or maybe the workers at the hotel you're staying at all of that let's just disregard all that let's just move forward right guys can't we forgive them let's show some sympathy so obviously this video is a little bit different than some of the ones i've done in the past a little bit more edited a little bit more of a concise topic surrounding a particular person let me know if you guys like this style of video i had a lot of fun making it i hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it until next time i'll talk to you guys later peace welcome come on in and join hey guys in Crystal Station here. Hello March. Hello Winter 2024. It would mean a lot if you subscribe to Im Crystal Station here. Paris Miley and Am. Crystal Anna Gallant. Jorgensen 36 years old and I got autism OCD, ADD, ADHD, epilepsy, depression, anxiety, schizophrenia. Maybe bipolar maybe? I'm a YouTuber. Gamer? I'm engaged to Leslie Wilson. Gallant Jr. and we got a baby boy named Leslie LL. He is four years. I'm a boss babe that worked at MSU. Case hall it works. I donated plasma. At CSL, stay safe. Stay blessed. Like and share. Everybody, I YouTube a lot and I love making. YouTube videos. A lot. Music. Video gaming. Vlogs. And make sure to please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And smash that like button. Please and THKS. My YouTube channel is about random videos that I'll be posting for you guys on Facebook and Instagram TikTok. Boss babe, chef queen, I'm amazing. I'm a little, I'm in my little space due to anxiety and depression. Need 3,000 subs.